Welcome to the AI Ireland podcast, the show where we explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and its impact on our lives. I'm your host, Mark Kelly, and I'm thrilled to have you joining us today. Each week, we delve into the cutting edge developments, breakthrough technologies, and innovative applications of AI right here in Ireland and beyond. As Ireland emerges as a global hub for AI research and development, we're here to bring you insightful conversations with leading experts entrepreneurs and thought leaders who are at the forefront of this exciting revolution. So get ready to expand your knowledge and be inspired by the incredible possibilities that lie ahead. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you enjoy what you hear, we'd love it if you could leave us a review and share the podcast with your friends and colleagues. Together, let's spread the AI revolution. Hi everybody, it's Mark Kelly here, founder of AI Ireland. Whatever you do, I hope you're doing really well. You're in for an absolute treat because we are speaking to Liam Cronin, CEO of the ODI Club. Liam, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to come on here and talk about the RDI Hub and the fourth uh, John McCarthy AI Summer School. Liam, you've been on the podcast before, but for people that haven't heard the podcast and they don't necessarily know about the RDI Summer School, and ODI Hub, rather, please give them a little bit of an overview and tell them about the team uh, of this year, too. Yeah, so thanks, Mark. So the, the RDI Hub is a public-private partnership between Fexico, uh, Munster Technological University, Kerry County Council, and we're funded through the Enterprise Ireland Regional Enterprise Development Fund. Uh, we're based in, in Kilorgan in, in County Kerry, and our whole objective is to support startups, scale-ups, SMEs, corporates, to create new products and services leading to new jobs in the southwest of Ireland. So uh, the RDI Hub building, uh, which we opened uh, four years ago now, uh, is dedicated to John McCarthy uh, as a tribute to the Stanford professor, uh, university computer scientist. So McCarthy was one of the founders of the discipline of artificial intelligence, and his father was actually born in Cremon, which is only five miles outside Kilorgan in County Kerry. Uh, in the late 1950s, uh, McCar- John McCarthy invented the Lisp uh, programming language, which became one of the programming languages of choice for AI applications. So as we all know, AI is going to have a truly transformative effect on our lives in the coming years. Already, it is a discipline which has risen to prominence in terms of the personalization of content. We interact with on a daily basis online, but there's so much more that AI can do to help us achieve in the sustainability space. And we're looking towards discussing its diversity with our speaker panel on the 7th and 8th of September. So obviously, look, a lot of talk about AI and, and chat GBT in the last 12 months, and we see this as a massive opportunity. Uh, to solve some of the sustainability challenges that are out there. One of the things that I know about the summer school here in AI Ireland are very, very proud to be a partner within it, is the mixture of industry and academia. So you're getting kind of two perspectives from within the team. Now last year we had AI and tourism, and I had the pleasure of actually being on site uh, for that for, for the second day and being able to see some of the speakers. And they, they were speaking more for kind of commercialization and the different opportunities that were there, but also some of the challenges. And as you rightly say, AI is, you know, from mainly during the future open AI is becoming very, very prevalent in terms of our world because we're all utilizing chat But climate change is a thing that we are all affected by. We've all got skin in the game in terms of improvement on that. How did you kind of go about choosing the speakers that you chose? And how does the day, the two days usually play out? Yeah, it's thanks, Mark. So as you said, look, the, the thematic this year is all around the AI for sustainability. You know, it's our fourth year doing the John McCarthy AI Summer School. Actually, when we did it the very first year, we did it around the AI for sustainable societies. Uh, year two was around the AI for uh, wellness. And then, as you said, last year was around the AI for tourism. So we kind of felt, you know, three years on, let's just go back and revisit what progress have we made in the last three years around how artificial intelligence is driving the sustainability agenda. And I guess, you know, we're, we're lucky in the sense with the RDI, we have a really strong list of partners that support us with the summer school. Um, so we've got support from, you know, Microsoft Ireland. Uh, we have the Munster Technological University locally that support the summer school. The SFI Adapt Centre for AI Driven Digital Content Technology in Trinity College Dublin. Uh, Tangent, which is the Trinity uh, Ideas Workspace. Uh, AI Ireland, um, you know, thanks for all the support you bring, Mark. And we also have uh, two skill nets involved, IT at Cork skill net and South Kerry skill net. And I suppose the other partner that's come on board this year that's really helped us to kind of drive the agenda and the speakers is the, is the, sustain, is the 2050 Sustainability Accelerator. So this is driven by Dogpatch Labs. It's Ireland's national sustainability accelerator. 
uh, which connects startups, industry and national assets to accelerate towards net zero. Uh, and they're very interested on the whole AI space. So as you said, we've always had a mixture of academic and applied in the summer school. Over the last couple of years, in day one, we generally had the academic element and in day two applied. But the change we're making this year is we're kind of having applied and academic on the same day. And as we looked at the list of speakers, so we've 19 speakers from four countries that will be attending. We saw a thematic er uh, emerge in day one, which was all around AI for sustainable agriculture. So that's the focus on day one is how artificial intelligence can drive sustainable agriculture, which is something we hear all the time around how farmers and and, and agriculture in particular is me measuring their carbon footprint and, and taking uh, the necessary steps uh, to support the environment. And then day two on, on the Friday is all around AI for sustainable f cities and carbon footprint. So how can artificial intelligence help you track your carbon footprint and reduce your carbon footprint? And again, we have a really nice mix of academic speakers in the morning and then very much applied in, in the afternoon, which I think has always been the key element of, of the summer school. So people can get both perspectives and I love the way you're doing that <clears throat> on the day so you can actually kind of get that a relaxation. And you know, when we look at agriculture, it's about doing more with less and being able to actually kind of be very conscious of that in terms of uh, how that kind of comes across. And you have those speakers from different countries from different perspectives. There's a lot of diversity in us that's going to come from that. Yeah, as I said, we're really lucky. I mean, as I said, we've 19 speakers, so I'm not going to go through all 19 here in, in the podcast, but I suppose just to call out some of the, the kind of key speakers that are attending. So, you know, we're opening the conference on on, on the Thursday, the 7th of September at 1 p.m. Uh, with Colleen Josephson. She's an assistant professor at the University of California, um, and she's going to be talking about her research interests around wireless communications and sensing systems. Um, that can barely, that, that basically can promote sustainable practices. And um, we're also on day one have uh, Caroline Lair, who's the founder of the Good AI Initiative. And again, she's going to be talking about, you know, the work that she's doing around AI and sustainability. Um, really excited as well on day one uh, to have one of our local professors, Professor Joseph Walsh uh, from the Munster Technological University, who's going to be talking about his research in, in this whole space. So he's done a lot of work and he would have spoken uh, at the last summer school uh, we did actually in, in, in around sustainability. He's talking about how the utilization of AI in sustainable agriculture would be driving force behind the fourth agricultural revolution. So that's going to be really interesting. And then towards the latter end of the day one, you know, we speakers from the Sarah O'Neill from the Carberry Group. And um, we also have Daria Bat from uh, Zinodrone. Uh, we have Luca Mascioni from Gem AI. And on day two then, um, after Joan Mulvihill opens the conference and she's the sustained digitalization sustainability lead at Siemens. We have Professor Vinnie Cahill talking about sustainable mobility models for a just transition. Um, Dr. Margaret Nyhan from UCC is going to be talking about intelligent and data-driven solutions for sustainable net zero and healthy future cities. Um, we also then have an international angle with Benjamin Chere, uh, who's the head of European projects at Poltes in Normandy and France talking about the French AI sustainability story with practical examples from France. Um, I'm really excited after the coffee break and the second day to have Rowan Feely from NH University in collaboration with Brian Mullen from Microsoft talking about their Terrain AI project, which is all about advancing carbon measurement standards. The project's been going on for about five or seven years. And then we close out the conference with, with updates from Gavin Shorten from IBM about how, be, how IBM is sustain, supporting sustainability in action. Uh, we have Carl Brendan Foley from Fexco talking about an interesting project they developed called PACE, which enables them to measure um, carbon footprint from aerospace from air, for airplanes. And uh, we have Eamon Calvin talking from no carbon. And we close out the conference with the uh, guys from Dog Patch Labs with Ashley Shack talking about how they're the, the accelerator they're running, the 12 companies that are on it, and how those companies are, le are leveraging AI for sustainable innovation. And we actually have one of those companies uh, flying in, especially from Germany, uh, Julian Carroll, who's the CEO of Carbon Stock, who's going to talk about climate protection for generations, create security in an uncertain climate using deep tech. So, um, so it, it promises, as you said, to be a really interesting two days, a mixture of academic, a mixture of applied, a mixture of national, international speakers, um, so not to be missed. Lee, you've done a great job picking so much diversity within the talks, but also from that large enterprise, like you mentioned, kind of nice of IBM, you might yourself kind of in the world, then you also had kind of more of a startup and it got that international feel. We would have known the guys uh, from AI Train, they were free winners at the AI Awards, I believe it was in 
2021 and um, terrific projects that they that, that they're there and each of the speakers in its own right has got something very very beneficial uh, to, to share. So, Liam, I, am I right in saying you can attend in Oregon or you can actually be uh, watching it virtually or kind of both, depending on how you want to sign up? Yeah, that's correct, Merrick. I mean, all our events are, are hybrid events. Um, so there, there is the opportunity. We've uh, we've a restriction of 50 people that can attend in person in the RDI Hub in Clargan, and then everyone else can join online through Microsoft Teams. So again, we just ask people to to register so we so we can send them the Microsoft Teams link or we can plan for um, you know refreshments and everything in the RDI Hub. So to register, you can go to the rdihub.com website. Uh, there's a tab on the top called uh, AI Summer School. Um, you're, you can register, you can, there'll be lots on social media um, over the next while about the AI Summer School. And then if you Google or you, you go on Bing, you'll see the Eventbrite link as well. But um, yeah, please register so we can, uh, so we, we can send you details about the Summer School, whether you're attending in person in Kilorgan, in the RDI Hub, or you're joining online using Microsoft Teams. Liam Cronin, CEO of RDI Hub, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to come on here and talk about the, the fourth John McCarthy L Summer School. Much appreciated. Membership AI Ireland placed your organisation at the centre of the fastest growing technology sector in the world today. As a member, you'll have access to a diverse and highly engaged professional community, which is committed to driving artificial intelligence forward in Ireland. Membership AI Ireland is for any organisation including data and analytics. We offer memberships to corporate, government and SME organisations. Interested to find out more, contact mark at AIawards.ie.